Everything will be fine. They're just books. Just books? How can you say such a thing? It's my life's research. Father, you've always been obsessed with your work. Open your eyes. This place, for instance, is falling apart. No servants will work for you. The roof on the east wing is all but caved in. If Mother were here... You needn't have come. You see, my work... I'm a very busy man and... The Exterminator. I called you three days ago. What took you so long? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, Governor. A bit of a drive coming out here takes the whole day. I would prefer it if you simply did your job with your mouth closed. Father? Not right now, Rebecca. I discovered some horrid little purple worms three days ago in the library. As I was saying, Three days ago, I discovered the first worm. Mm. The next day, there were more. And yesterday, the entire library was flooded with them. Uh, yeah, I can see they're, uh, they're everywhere. But there were thousands of them. Maybe you imagined them, living on your own and all, mind playing tricks. I live alone so that I do not have to bear with such incompetence and insolence. Ooh, well, aren't we high and mighty, eh? What? Oh, I can't wait to see Lord Bradbury. Why is that? You guys pen pals from Bang Camp or something? No, he's just one of the world's finest scientists. He's an expert on the human brain. He laid the groundwork on hypnosis and mind control. I've read everything he's written. He's so dreamy. I don't expect you guys to understand how important meeting Lord Bradbury really is. He's a genius. Um, Wayne? Yeah, Dr. Kane? Wrong side of the road again. Ah. Sorry. Human, you are ours now. We have studied your science, your work on the human brain, but we need to know more. We need you to teach us. Teach you? Never! Ah! We will learn the secrets of your weak human brains, your hypnotism, your mind control. You will help us! Father? Poor, pathetic, helpless humans. So fragile. Ah! Please stop! Not my Rebecca! She's all I have! Uh you will help us. Yes. Yes. Ah. Whatever you want. That is a good human. Uh, we're not gonna fit through that archway. Who says we have to? Hang on, guys. I'm gonna ram it. No, Wayne, you can't. This is Lord Bradbury's house. This is the house of the man who mapped the synchronistic firing of bilateral synapses in the human brain. Meaning? Meaning we park here and walk up. Once you push the human mind past its ability to maintain a conscious state, the unconscious mind becomes submissive, easier to access, if you will. Someone's at the door. I wasn't expecting any visitors. I swear it. Pathetic human. Silence! We know who it will be. Kane. So sadly predictable. It is time for us to experiment with these new techniques you've been teaching us. Kane will be the perfect test case. What if he's not home? What if we came all this way and he isn't even home? Then we look for the outbreak. Mm. If there even is one, devolve it and go home without ever seeing Bradbury. Let's knock again. It's a big place. He probably has to walk a long way. Can I help you? Uh, 
Sir, I mean, Dr. Bradbury. Your Lordness. Oh, wow, it's such an honor. It's, it's, wow, wow, Lord Bradbury. Uh, Lieutenant, did you bring the camera? Sorry to bother you, sir, but we picked up a call on our international scanner about purple worms. We're here to investigate. No, no, I can assure you that was all a mistake. Uh, but please do come inside. It's so seldom I get visitors. Can I offer you some tea? Crumpets? A warm fire? Yes, yes, yes! You know, sir, I am a huge fan of your work. If I could just ask you a few questions about your research on internal communications between left brain and right brain across the cerebral cortex, well, it would really make my day. It would be my pleasure. Do come in. This is so great. Come on, come on. It's fascinating. Yeah, Gassy here started out as an experiment, but now is a member of the family. I can show you all the files how I created Gassy if you want. Yes, I would like that. Uh, I just wanted to say, Lord Bradbury, I found your work on hypnosis and mind control to be quite fascinating. But I did want to talk to you about your most recent article on repressed memory. Come on, Wayne. We need to make a sweep of the perimeter. Something's not right about Lord Bradbury. Well, he seems okay. And for a scientist guy, he's got great food. Gassy, come here, boy. Girl. Whatever. What the? and warn the others. I can't tell you what a thrill it is to see your library. That is, if I could actually see it. Maybe you should turn a light on or something. After all, you know what they say about reading in the dark. Lord Bradbury? <sighs> Harry, wait. The genus is here. Where? Outside in the garden. I got the ones I found, but I bet there's more. Where's Dr. Kane? Bradbury wanted to show him something in the library. Which way did they go? I don't know. Out into the hall. We need to get to the bottom of this before it's too late. Something tells me it is too late. I'll give you a hint. It's not Kansas. It looks like a dungeon. And me without my devolver. Shh! Did you hear that? What? Well, I don't like the sound of that. And I definitely don't like the looks of it either. Uh, can anybody reach their weapons? Look, Gassy can. Come on, Gassy. Get the devolver. <laughs> Gassy! Come on, get the devolver! Go on, go on! Oh, way to go, Gassy. Well, I think he's hmm. like enough. Uh, uh. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. If by all right, you mean dizzy, disoriented, and a little nauseous. What happened? I know you. I've seen your picture. You're Rebecca Bradbury. 
Oh, it must have been great growing up with a guy like Lord Bradbury as your father. Honestly, think how lucky you were. Lucky? No. Of course, it was different when Mother was alive. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Kane, we knew you would join us, and we are very pleased. I know that voice. Scopes! Right, well, since you two seem to know each other, I'll be going now so you two can stroll down memory lane and what have you. You know, I, I don't want to intrude and all. Ta! Uh, um, uh, bye now. Uh, uh bye. Oh, uh, can't blame a bloke for trying. Uh, Come on, Yassi. Bring us the devolver. Come on, good Yassi, yeah. Okay, let's find a way out of here. Too high that way. Oh, there's got to be another way. Hold on. Come on, Gassy. Joe. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get ya. Okay, let's go. All the comforts of home. If home were a dark castle dungeon that looks like it was decorated by Vlad the Impaler. Mm, it looks like the only way out of here is across that pit. If I had known we were going swimming, I would have packed my swim trunk. <laughs> On second thought, it's grown immune to the selenium. <laughs> well, duh. Wait, give me your axe. And I'm gonna need your bow staff, too. Why? You'll see. Just give it to me. Well, I haven't done this since my days on the track and field team in high school. But here goes nothing. enough to teach us everything he knows. Dr. Bradbury, how could you? His emotions were his weakness. You predictable humans and your overbearing emotions, you will soon learn how weak you truly are. At least we have the capability for independent thought. Not for long, Whoa. Kane. Not for long. <gasps> no! Look away! Stairs! Up is good. I like up. No! Another dead end! You know, I'd like to find the guy who built this place and give him a piece of my... Whoa! Whoa. Ow! Harry! Oh, are you okay? Couldn't be better. <laughs> We're right back where we started. Hmm. We need a map. The satellite link! Just download the blueprints from the National Royal Registry of Historic Landmarks and voila, I got the map. Bradbury Castle is most famous for its remarkably intact medieval dungeon. <laughs> Been there, done that. And its comprehensive library of rare works. Uh -oh. <gasps> what is it, Wayne? <sighs> um, you did it. Hey! This isn't so bad. Look, I've got a green thumb. Hey, I thought it was funny. Great, kid. All right, let's find Dr. Kane. This should be the library. I'm going in. Hello, Harry Block. Ira. The coast is clear! Where's the genus? I destroyed them. Gone. All gone. And the pod, too. Let's go home. You okay, Ira? Doc, where's Lord Bradbury? Who? Hmm. The genus is destroyed. 
service in your own demise. It is a game you cannot win. You will all learn in due time. Ira, do something. What's the matter with you? This place is full of books on hypnosis. Scopes must have found a way to control Ira's mind. Control his mind? No way. Ira couldn't fall for that. Kane. Yes. To the dungeon. Oh, not again. Oh! Mm. Uh, uh. Dr. Kane, what are you doing? It's me, Wayne! Destroy him! Ooh, that looks sharp! Dr. Kane, you've got to snap out of it! You're stronger than Scopes! Resist, Amira. You can do it! Please, Dr. Kane, it's me, Wayne! <laughs> Dr. Kane, I just wanted you to know, no hard feelings. You're still the best. I mean, when you're not mind-controlled. Wayne? Kiddo? Dr. Kane! Hmm. No! Oh! It doesn't work! Worthless human knowledge, it doesn't work! <sighs> <laughs> Wait, buy me some time, kiddo, while I make a new mix. You got it, Dr. Kane. Does this have trilometrin in it? I need the toxicity level for a new mix. You're a genius, mate. I'll just spray the bug. Suppose it doesn't mean I'll collect the check. Just have to hope this works. Wait, can you slow scopes down? I'll try, Dr. Kane. Rebecca, father. Hey, Scopes, look into my eyes. Oh, yeah! You really had us worried there for a minute. Yeah, but the way you took down Scopes was wicked! Thanks. Uh, sorry about almost doing you in back there, Wayne. Oh, well, it's okay. I'm just glad you're back to normal, Dr. Kane. Me too, kiddo. Me too. This mate of yours, this monster, wanted to learn how to control minds? Well, what sort of fuss? What could he do? Well, think of it. If he had been successful, he could have controlled minds of important people all over the world. Just imagine politicians and world leaders under the control of someone else. An evil influence. Oh, yeah, imagine that. Luckily, Scopes made one very important mistake. He believed that human emotion was our greatest weakness. But in fact, it's our greatest strength. He's not the only one who learned that today. Ever since Rebecca's mother passed away, I've tried to stifle my emotions so I would not have to feel the pain. But now I know what a grave mistake that was. I'm sorry, my dear. Oi, that monkey stole my scone. Come on, Gassy, give it back. Gassy. <laughs> Aye, no, that's uh, that's all right. You uh, <laughs> you you can keep it. <laughs> 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 